you are about to hear a discussion of a first in the history of exploration. The most distant human-made object, NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft, is an interstellar space, the space between the stars. Shrouded in mystery. But in a new turn of events, Voyager 1 seems to be sending weird signals from beyond the solar system, and nobody really knows why. Is his 45 years of space adventures finally taking its toll on Voyager 1, or could it be something else altogether? Welcome to Fact Nominal, and for today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Voyager's remarkable journey thus far, and the new random data that has scientists and researchers buzzing. History, humanity's curiosity for the world that lies beyond the confines of what we know and understand is always driving us to push for more. Voyager 1 and its sister spacecraft, Voyager 2, were the result of this unending curiosity to learn about interstellar space and explore the outer planets in our solar system. Initially, NASA had planned to launch two spacecraft past Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto, and then two others past Jupiter. But given budgetary constraints, they settled on Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. With a weight of more than 720 kilograms, the spacecraft, which is about the size of a... NASA sent the Voyager 1 spacecraft into the solar system 45 years ago, after sending NASA some strange information. After its twin, Voyager 2, roughly two weeks later. As per their planned flight path and varying speeds, both Voyager missions were able to take advantage of a rather special alignment of outer planets that happens only once every 176 years, creating a slingshot effect and catapulting the spacecraft from one planet to the next. Despite being the second to launch, Voyager 1 made its way to Jupiter and Saturn first in 1979 and then in 1980. But no one had quite expected just what a remarkably long journey Voyager 1 was headed for and how long it would remain operational in space. Discovery After its successful launch, Voyager 1 raced past its twin and was the first to get behind the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The spacecraft's first ever picture of Jupiter was sent back to Earth in April 1978 when the probe was still 160 million miles or 265 million kilometers from planet Earth. It began to snap pictures and collect data about the giant planet and was the first to uncover two new moons, Phoebe and Metis. For the first time, detailed pictures of the Jovian moons. Here it discovered Prometheus and Pandora, two prominent moons along with Atlas and a completely new ring. Titan, the second largest moon in the solar system, proved to be more of a challenge because of its thick orange haze, which would only be photographed years later by the Huygens atmospheric probe. Voyager 1 continued its primary mission of exploring and snapping images of every angle of Saturn and its moons till it was finally time to make its way to interstellar space but not before taking one of the most iconic images in spaceflight history, the pale blue dot, an image taken nearly 3.7 billion miles or 6 billion kilometers away from Earth, showing the planet suspended as nothing but a tiny dot against the vast expanse of space, interstellar space. Perhaps the most exciting part of the spacecraft's journey is when it ventured into interstellar space, the first of its kind to do so. Voyager 1 officially left the heliosphere, the giant bubble of charged particles that the sun blows around itself, and in August 2012, entered interstellar space. The discovery was made when a powerful solar eruption was recorded by Voyager 1's plasma wave instrument, causing electrons near Voyager 1 to vibrate intensely. From these oscillations, the team was able to discover that the probe's surroundings had a higher density than what one might find within the heliosphere. Researchers were able to backtrack through the spacecraft's data and nail down the exact date of departure from the heliopause, August 25, 2012. Since flying into interstellar space, Voyager 1 has made some astounding discoveries, intense cosmic radiation, 
and demonstrating how charged particles from the sun react with the ones emitted by other stars, along with a slew. Voyager suddenly received an alarming response from a nearby object in space. But what could this enigmatic signal mean? Cross the heliopause into interstellar space on November 5th, 2018, putting both the Voyager missions beyond the solar system. In its journey venturing beyond the solar system, Voyager 1 has gone further than any other human-made object in the world, setting records that might take a while to beat. But exactly how far from Earth has the iconic spacecraft ventured? According to NASA, it's now more than 15 billion miles or 24 billion kilometers away. While the mission has generally proceeded without major problems, scientists involved in the mission have recently noticed that there appear to be some mysterious signals the probe has been sending their way. Well, Voyager 1 is fully functioning and hasn't recorded any problems. It seems to be confused about its location in space, and this is without going into safe mode or sounding any alarms, which it ideally should. NASA says that an antenna attached to Voyager 1, which is pointed at Earth to send back data, still appears to be working, but it seems to be sending back data that is completely invalid. NASA released an official statement after concerns emerged, saying the Interstellar Explorer is operating normally, receiving and executing commands from Earth, along with gathering and returning science data. But readouts from the probe's Attitude Articulation and Control System, AACS, don't really reflect what's happening on board, which leads to the question, what exactly is happening on board? As with anything space-related, everyone was quick to speculate that there might be some alien signals being sent our way, or perhaps Voyager 1 is being intercepted and purposefully sending back confusing signals. Scientists have been quick to refute this, though, and any hopes for life beyond Earth interfering with the legendary spacecraft don't seem very likely. The AACS controls the spacecraft's orientation, and among its other tasks, keeps the Voyager's high-gain antenna pointed precisely at Earth to enable it to send data back home. For now, all signs show the axe to be working well, but the data being received isn't really adding up. For instance, the data may appear to have been generated randomly or doesn't reflect any possible state the AACS could be in. Another puzzling issue is the fact that no onboard fault protection systems have been triggered and neither have the Voyager 1. Voyager 1 is the first human-made object to enter interstellar space, the space between the stars. It has been exploring the outer solar system and beyond for over 46 years. Past. What exactly these signals and invalid data are, no one knows. But for now, NASA seems to be satisfied with the fact that everything else seems to be working well, and Voyager personnel will either attempt to fix it or adapt to it. A signal from Earth currently takes approximately 20 hours and 33 minutes to reach Voyager 1, and the same delay exists when receiving data. Project manager Suzanne Dodd stated that a mystery like this is sort of par for the course at this stage of the Voyager mission. She also emphasized that not only is the spacecraft 45 years old, it's also now in interstellar space, a region about which we know very little so perhaps the high radiation environment is messing up the probe signals and scientists will have to find a way to either decode it or work with it. She also further stated that this is no doubt the last of Voyager 1's challenges on its journey through interstellar space. Despite the new glitch from the mission, Voyager 1 is still breaking barriers decades after its successful launch. The mission completely took everyone by surprise with how long it's been able to venture beyond the solar system giving us hope for future missions. As of right now, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are both well beyond their planetary targets and much farther than they were ever expected to go. Spacecraft project manager Suzanne Dodd at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory near Los Angeles, California, stated, Every day is a new record for Voyager. It is yet to make more stunning discoveries beyond the solar system, and perhaps in another 40,000 years, it'll drift within 1.6 light years or 9.3 trillion miles of star AC plus 793 in the constellation Camelopardalis, 
the Voyager Interstellar Mission, VIM, according to the team, still has the potential to obtain more interplanetary and interstellar fields, particles, and waves, and could be shooting back data. In this case, perhaps some more weird signals. Until around 2025, only time will tell what more Voyager 1 has in store for us before operations end.